And it's even more complicated than that because that's the thermodynamics. You've also got to take the kinetics into consideration, but that's a whole other video. It's basically all you're trying to say is using the messiness of a teenager's bedroom oh, oh, is a bad way oh, right. to think about it. Absolutely. That's the you just don't like the analogy. No, no, the, an the analogy is entirely wrong. Thank you for bringing that up. I've forgotten entirely about it. Thank you for bringing that up, Brady. The analogy is entirely wrong. The reason your room, or my room, particularly my room, gets messy is because I'm messy. Not because of the second law of thermodynamics. The, these, the, these, you know, are they moving around? Are they jiggling around? Are they hopping around? Do your socks spontaneously move around in the drawer? No, they don't. This is, this is a really, really poor analogy. The idea that, you know, socks get messy, um, that when you shuffle a, a, a deck of cards that the entropy is increasing. There is no difference in the thermodynamic entropy in those cases. No difference at all. And that's, uh, again, uh, you can see how the, the idea that entropy is disorder has led to this, but it's wrong. It's entirely wrong. The, the teenager's room getting messy is just a very, very poor and wrong analogy. This is from a, a course I did quite some time ago. Right, we start off with a completely packed um, uh, globule of molecules. It's really, rel relatively unnatural, but it gets the key idea across. If we follow just one of those, on. okay, just, if we just take one of those and consider it away, isolated from the rest of the molecules, mm. forget about all this, can we tell which way things are going, which way time's flowing? No, it's just moving left. Right. right. If we consider the whole thing, what happens? The, clo the globule, the cluster at the start, spreads out. I can see it breaking apart. And the reason it spreads out is that the number of ways of organizing the molecules, or the number of ways, and it's not, I'm not saying somebody's deliberately organizing this, just the number of possible configurations of the molecules that give rise to a random distribution, in this case, is so much so many orders of magnitude, incredible numbers of orders of magnitude, more than packing them like that. But the important thing is that you're pumping energy into the system. These things are moving around. They're exploring the states that are accessible to them. That's the important thing. Yes, those states, in a sense, exist, and the system can get those states if it has enough energy. And this is why the example, the messy um, socks in the teenager's room, is so wrong, because those states are not accessible. The, the, the student socks don't jump, you know, jump around out by themselves. But These neither, states have neither, to be accessible. Neither do those dots until you gave them motion. I know, but that motion comes from the heat energy. That's why it's thermodynamics. That motion comes from the heat energy. You're putting the heat energy in. Heat energy, if you want to put it in this sense, is a sort of random energy flow into the system. You're not doing work on the system. But in the socks teenager analogy, aren't you just replacing heat with the motion? Yeah, but they the don't light. do it themselves. The states are not accessible. You're absolutely right. You have to do work, but it's not thermal work. Yeah, but that's it's not that. Th no, no, it's a huge. Energy. No, no, no. It's a huge difference. It's a huge, huge difference. But you're replacing you're, thermal energy with, I, the, with, the, with the stuff of the teenager doing it, which is not the same thing at all. No, yeah, Brady. That's Brady, why it's an analogy. No, no. You, the problem is, it's a completely wrong analogy. Completely, because that oh. leads people. No, Brady. That oh. leads people. That leads people to say. You know, the, well, the reason my room gets messy is because of the second law of thermodynamics. Well, then they're being thick. Well, there you must be an you awful can't lot of thick. legislate for thickness. <laughs> but if you're going to have an analogy, of course you replace, you're replacing s atoms with socks. You're replacing the, the teenager's actions with hate. But, this, but Brady, that second point... And then someone point. then doesn't realise it's an analogy and says, oh... But Brady, there's... Oh.